One of the exciting new features of Myriad 6 is the Myriad Playout Replication Tool, which allows you to replicate content between two sites or between a site and a cloud system. So let's take a look at how to set it up and how it works. First of all, you need to enable it in database settings. Go to database settings, general tab, and the last section here is about synchronization. So there are two options here. There is, um, first one is store additional information to allow database contents to be replicated to each uh, to other locations. Now you have to tick this one if you want to do bi-directional replication. But if you're running Myriad 5 and Myriad 6 simultaneously, we do not recommend turning this option on for now. The second one allows you to set where exactly you want to replicate to. So let's take a look at the options. The Myriad Player replication tool can work in two different ways depending on whether you have access to your firewall. If you have access to your firewall and are able to forward a port to the computer running your remote edit server or RED software, you can actually do a direct transfer so that um, both systems will replicate over their standard internet directly. If, however, you don't have access to uh, your firewall or don't know how to for port forward from a particular port to a computer, you can actually bounce it through the Myriad Anywhere service. But there is an additional charge for this as it incurs quite high costs for us for data transit. So if you do want to do that, uh, you'll need to uh, talk to our sales team about how to do that. The exception to this is with uh, cloud systems because we include the replication from on-site to cloud if you take one of our Myriad cloud systems. So let's take a look at how to set up either one of those options. First of all, tick the allow replication. Then you have to decide whether you want to do Myriad Anywhere or direct remote edit server connection. So if you do remote edit server connection, you then put in the IP address of your firewall or the external um, name of your firewall so it can be accessed. Um, and you would need to add in a username and a password that will give you access to your Myriad system. But in this example, we're going to use a Myriad Anywhere system to connect to because we're going to synchronize this local desktop Myriad 6 with a Myriad cloud system. So choose default port for Myriad Anywhere cloud and paste in the URL for your Myriad Anywhere system. Now, it's important to remember to remove the HTTPS off of the beginning and any slashes or anything on the end. So we've just got the raw address of the server. Give it a username and password that you would normally use to log in to Myriad anywhere. When you're ready, hit OK. Now, if you want to test this, you can manually trigger a replication by going to the station menu and click on replicate data for the remote station, or with a remote station rather. And in here you can choose whether to download, bi-directional or upload, and you can also choose whether to synchronize your data settings, your database settings rather, your station settings, uh, your scheduling, and even your actual uh, schedule lock. In this example though, I'm just going to synchronize a few songs. So starting, uh, I've set, going to specify a range starting at 10, 4, 3, 4, and going on to uh, 10.450. I also need to tick the all items option so that it'll scan all items within the selected range and upload any that have had any changes. Once you're ready, click on start replication. Okay, we sped up that bit of the film as there's no need for you to watch things upload. Um, let's go and take a look at our cloud system and check that those media items are there. And here we can see the media items have been added to the media wall on our hosted cloud system or our Myriad cloud system. Um, and if I was to edit one of these up here, that will actually, uh, when next time we run the, the replication process, uh, those changes will be brought back down to our studio system. So you can use the replication tool either manually as we've done today or using command lines, uh, which can be then scheduled to run periodically with scheduled task. And we'll publish an article about exactly how to do that.